Hello everybody, and today we're going to be playing the AM1. And I'll show you exactly what I do to be grinding out my tree. Because um, I'm going to show you this real quick. After I get this F104, it's going to be a lot of money. I could gr probably grind out some of these, but I want to grind out these guys. So this AM1 and AD is perfect for grinding out tech trees. Um, there, just for example, it's at 19, six, uh, 19,612. I'll put some research into it. And let's go. See, I changed it perfectly. I'll show you the exact um, loadout that I use to bomb bases, and then I, I will just use it as a base bomber. But I like it more because it's more agile, and in case of emergencies, you can just flip it over and go like that. Um, personally, I like to do these. I feel like I'm in more control, and I get having a little more fun. Um, I usually just drop the whole payload on one. Um, because I am not 100% sure at this battle rating how much equivalent pounds of TNT I need. So, like I was talking about in my last video about the, um, the F, the F9F, look at this. The air brakes are integrated, look at this. They go up and go down, they're integrated within the flaps themselves. Isn't that cool, guys? I, I I've, you know, I, oh, my gear's down, I think. Yep, my gears are down. Not a good idea, but this is a really good plane if you want to be grinding out some tech trees. Uh, personally, I like to stray away from people. What I'm going to do is drop altitude and just cruise over there. Yeah, this is a really nice plane, and plus I might get a couple more tank videos soon um, for the ground because I've seen someone in the, in, uh, the poll saying that they want to see me survive the hell of U.S. ground forces. So I, I'm going to do that just to see what the fuck is going on. Um, but let's get this going. Um, I'm probably going to take a little bit of a break after I make this video um, just to... Watch some YouTube, some stupid YouTube videos. Maybe make some food. Um, I think like last video, I was um, I had to mention my girl uh, because of how much shit I've been going through. Not just only that the three weeks that I've been down and away from YouTube and not recording have I not just been going through some shit, but I've been going through a lot of depression, and that's something that I've learned to deal with throughout my whole life. Um, and you know, doing this stuff helps me. But the one thing. I do need to know, um, do need to get back into is talking to people. Um, talking, you know, if I just self-isolate, I haven't left my place since November 4th. Um, and today's current date is the 26th, so for more than 22 days I haven't left this place where I stay. So right around here I cut my throttle, cut my air brake, just perfect enough to slow down. I cut over, drop all the bombs, base destroyed, easy 5,000, 6,000 silver lines. What I could do is I can circle back around, probably get some light pillboxes which is easy um, because the one thing I found out, wrong button, for these, these um, 20 mils can destroy light pillboxes. And not just default rounds. I use the air rounds just in case if I need to like fight something. But for now, I'm just gonna go back, rearm my uh, you know armaments, and go for another bombing run. If anything, if all the bases are done, I can at least just go drop the bombs on their base. Cause the only thing over, eh, you know what? I might just go pillbox hunting after the fact. Man, I'm just so indecisive. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go pillbox hunting after the fact that I uh, get everything. Get another, you know, bomb loadout. So I probably, you know, get a couple of those. Even with our air targets. Even with air targets. Surprisingly. They're light pillboxes, not regular pillboxes. Woo! 
we have a friendly fellow here. So let's get back to our base, which is currently right there. I think that Arado is, is pushing his limits right there. Now this is a naval carrier thing, so this would be perfect if you want to be playing like, um, you know, what's the term, uh, naval arcade or naval realistic? This would be a really good plane to do, um, you know, it has 2,000 pound bombs, so you can easily one tap a, a nice big cruiser or battleship, easily with a 2,000 pounder. Now let's cut back throttle down to like, I'd say 75. Lower altitude and cut a little bit of speed while cutting, while turning and cutting it. Perfect speed, cut the air brake out, put it down to 50. It this does feel like a regular fighter, but then you get the capabilities of, uh, you know, bombing. Gear out. Call throttle again, and I'll give you guys, you know, in cockpit view. Look at this. Now we're breaking. Look, we even got a rear view mirror up here too. Isn't that cool? And then we turn. Oh, look at that. I, I parked up. I literally parked up like I would do at a, a meet. Huh. <laughs> parked up on the runway. Let's do this. Now, is there any more bases to be bombed? Yes, there's this one and this one. I'm probably going to go for this one right here. To avoid everyone else and then go pillbox hunting. Because right now, I, I'm just grinding out silver lines, grinding out research. And this is literally my most favorite way to do it. Because it's passive, you don't got to deal with people, and you live a little bit longer. Look at that, rearmed. Back with what we need. Actually, you know what? Just cause, let me just uh, stop, leave plane, Ooh, it doesn't count as a kill, this is something I just learned, it doesn't count as a kill, especially in uh, realistic, keep the same bomb load, I just wanted to switch it to ground targets, cause I just wanted the proper, cause this thing has a little bit, but they, they got a little bit better chance of killing the ground pillboxes with ground targets. You got that errata all the way back there. You got Ta, we got a Ta there. Corsair took out the Ta, we got BF-109, J-288. So I think the only thing I gotta worry about is anyone just purposely looking for me, because they know that I'm a weak little target. Oh, yeah, let's get that maximum lift right now at the landing flaps. Gear up. Oh, come on, gain speed, gain speed. That's the only issue. You're going to have a hard time taking off with this thing if you do not know what you're doing because it's not really meant to be, you know, a runway. It just gets an air spawn. Well, I'm, well, I'm just doing this. I'll be right back. Perfecto, we're at the height that I want to be. At least 5,000. We got a Tau 152, 6 kilometers out. Level out. Wait a second, didn't I just destroy that base? Did it regenerate? Bro, these bases regenerate. Huh? I took that base out already. That, that's weird. Like, you guys literally just saw me. I've been noticing this a lot lately. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say it flat out. I noticed bomb uh, with the B24 is trying to take out my base. I'll probably drop mm, one bomb there, maybe a few bombs there. Go there, finish it out, and come back there. BF109 does not see me, which is good. Good. Uh, the Ta sees me. 
Okay, this might be a latch dis uh, ditch effort, but... I got a hit on him, so that's all that matters to me. Oh, shit! Avoid fire! Pull up! Damn! Well, at least got base bombing in. And that's all that counts. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy.